Today we're going to explain how Reagan handled the Cold War. Reagan's policy was kind of known as peace through strength. Reagan engaged in a new arms race with the Soviet Union. Reagan believed that the U.S. needed to be strong as a deterrent to communist aggression. He also believed that the Soviet Union's economy could not handle another arms race. We also secretly supported the Mujahideen in Afghanistan that were fighting against the Soviets. Uh, and that really kind of the war became equated with the Soviet Union's Vietnam. In other words, what Vietnam was to us was what Afghanistan was to the Soviet Union. Uh, a war that they really couldn't win and became very costly and drawn out. The increased military spending, however, increased budget deficits from $80 billion to $200 billion. Reagan also established what became known as the Reagan Doctrine. The U.S. provided overt and covert aid to right-wing guerrillas and resistance movements in an effort to undermine Soviet-backed governments in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. In addition to the support for the Mujahideen, Reagan also supported the Contras in Nicaragua, who were fighting against the communist Sandinista regime. Reagan took a hard line against the Soviet Union, but also recognized a change in leadership of the Soviet Union and shifted to diplomacy when the new Soviet leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, uh, came to power. And Gorbachev and Reagan held four summits between 1985 and 1988. They signed the INF Treaty, banning a whole new class of nuclear weapons. Reagan also is known for his Berlin Wall speech, where Reagan said, quote, General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, unquote. 